Hey there friends, this is Mark. Today I'm going to talk about the smart tempo function in Logic. I'm going to show you how to record a track without using a metronome, then determine and edit the tempo. All right, let's get started. So there's a few things within Logic that we need to set up before we start recording. The first thing is in the transport window under tempo, we want to set it to adapt. The next thing is we want to go in our tracks menu and show uh, global tracks right here so we can see our tempo. The next thing is we want to select the track we're going to record to and then go to the inspector in the top left hand corner and open the region drop down menu. From there we want to turn on flex and follow. In this case I'm going to set it to align bars. Now, uh, I want to make sure that my metronome is turned off because I want to extract the tempo from my recording and I want to be in low latency mode to record. Two, three, four. Okay, now we have our track recorded. The next thing we wanna do is double click on the track, which will open our smart tempo editor. And here we have a choice of constant or variable. Of course, constant is good if you want a more static tempo. In this case, I wanna choose variable because I want to see the variations in the tempo of my playing. The next thing I wanna address is aligning the track to the downbeat. And as you can see in Logic, the tempo bar turns red, which means it's adapting along with the movement that I'm making. So with that, I should be able to line up nicely with the click track. Perfect. Now that the guitar track is in time, let's hear it with a drum track. But let's say this section right here is a little too fast. I don't like the way it feels. So to adjust that, I want to click Command F or click here in the top to use the Flex tool. And since I selected Flex and Follow at the beginning, it now sets up my track automatically. And I can go in and adjust that tempo there. Bring that down a little bit, which will sound like this. And now let's say I want to make this section a little bit faster and the intro a little bit slower. I can do that. Bring all that down a touch. Now let's hear what that sounds like. So in this case, I'm using this as a writing tool which means I'm going to uh, figure out my own tempo and then build my track around it. And in which case I would use this guitar track as a scratch or guide track that I would re-record later on after I have all the drums and bass built out. So I wouldn't have to use flex pitch. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, leave me your question or comment down below. Check out the description box for more details. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you again real soon with a brand new video. Cheers.